Okay. We are on the eve of World War Three. Um, very close to it. Uh, the pieces of the uh, the cabal is trying to engineer it, They're trying to create provocations, false flags. The cabal, the cabal, those evil, pathetic Western neocon globalist losers are trying to engineer World War Three to bail them out of an impending financial collapse which was caused by their short-sighted greed-driven policies. Printing money can only prolong the inevitable fall, inevitable fail for so long. Time is running out. Yeah. <laughs> World War II was triggered by the assassination of an archduke. At the moment, Ukraine is losing badly on the battlefield, you know, in Kharkov and elsewhere. The Russians are advancing. In res and this is something I read, you know, Blinken is set to visit Kiev. And the question occurred in my mind, is this a possible Archduke of Ferdinand, Archduke Ferdinand moment? moment? So... Some Ukrainian Nazi assassinates Blinken, and the West puts the blame on Russia to trigger World War Three. I hope people behind the scenes are aware of this, and I hope there is some sanity here, or at least self-preservation. Russia put the nukes on standby for a reason. <sighs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh my god. Oh man, this is a very serious possibility. They could be, they could do something like this because they're losing. They know that the Ukrainians know they can't fight the Russians. They're getting destroyed, and and now this is their backup plan. Okay, let's bring Blinken over here into Kiev, and then do something like this. Remember, even Macron was like, I think he was warned by the Russians uh, last year or months before about going to Kiev because it's possible that they might do some kind of. Um, false flag assassination to trigger, uh, you know, black swan event. Is that what it is called? Uh, you know, the West is trying to set Rus Russia up uh, as causing fires in malls. You know, they're trying to, you know, like all these fires in Poland and in Germany. And they're trying to set up the narrative. Look, the Russians, they're attacking us, our industry. They're attacking our malls. They're spying on us. Uh, you know they they are very bad. They're very bad. Uh, the Russia they and then and on the on the flip side they they send telling Ukrainians to you know uh, bomb Russian cities and bridges. So they're trying to provoke the Russians and they're gonna do uh, uh, and they're gonna try and um, present the Russians as a bad guy to the West. So they're trying to create this conflict. They're engineering. It. This is what they're doing. The Russians are aware of these cynical provocations. The cabal is trying to instigate a war between the West and Russia. As Putin said uh, during the Victory Day speech, he will try his best to prevent a global war. This is really serious, people. <laughs> this is really serious. Okay, we are so close to this thing getting out of hand. The Russians warned the British, that if their missiles were used to attack Russian, Russian infrastructure, they would, the British would get a response. And then what we find out recently that they were storm shadow missiles were used to, I think they were used to target Crimea. They're not listening. This is serious. Oh, on another note, uh, this is an article that talks about like how this is a, an idea. I think this is an ideal template for countries to adopt in this multi world multipolar world order. You need to have a strong military. You need to have a strong, you know, economy. Uh, something to hold uh, social cohesion, religion, whatever. And then uh, the uh, the uh, uh, it's a very good article. You should read, read it. Like I think this is how society should work on. I think globalism is over. <laughs> Fuck the globalism, the rules-based bullshit, that's gone. 
society should work on building up their own internal economies instead of trying to control the planet and do this neo-colonial, you know, the West is the best, the East is the beast. <laughs> this idea of, 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 of trying to contain it because we're the best, because we're... You know, America was selling the story that we are the shining... Uh, you know, light on the hill. Look at us; we're the best in the world. And but they, but they failed. That is a that they either it was always a cynical kind of uh, psyop, or they failed. Uh, and uh, now people see, oh, these guys are just using. Uh, they just want to control the planet. Take if any country resists them, uh, you know, they will sanction you. All the all the regime anyway. Globalism is over. Fuck globalism. Uh, you know, I, I don't. I'm not saying Russia is a perfect country or Iran is a perfect country, but I just think it's about power. Power has to be balanced. There has to be a balance of power. So we're very close to World War Three, and I don't know. I don't even know if Biden is in charge. I don't think the the people who are in. You know, I don't, Zelensky is not in charge. It's it's run by the cabal. They write the reports for the intelligence agencies, and then these politicians who are supposed to make independent decisions, they just they just do what they're told because everything is controlled. Things are really really bad. Okay, the the power. There is no democracy in the West. It's controlled by the military industrial complex, the banks, they have control of the think tanks, they write the reports, they have control of the media, they have control of the intelligence agencies, and this is how they are engineering this. Things are really bad. <laughs>